We are a biome part where we have a common phylogenic tree that descended and resulted in various organisms. Down this tree, organisms are segregated based on their homology and characteristics into kingdoms, groups, families, genus, and species. A long time ago, big cats existed, which then evolved with higher physiological characteristics to turn into lions and leopards. This episode of Earthy Perks is dedicated to one of the past's beasts, the African Cape Lion. Throwback to 500,000 to 100 years ago, to the late Pleistocene to modern era, it was the first time when the Cape Lions used to wander freely in the flora of plains of South Africa. According to the binomial nomenclature, this species of the lion, called Cape Lion, is termed as Panthera leo melanochitis. Just as its big name, it is a lion up to seven feet long and 500 pounds in weight. The primary diet is meat, just like the other beasts of its kind. Apart from all other lions of being ancestors of a modern day lion, i.e. the European lion, Panthera leo europea, the Barbary lion, Panthera leo leo, and the American lion, Panthera leo atrox, the cape lion is the only one of its kind that didn't have any subspecies. In 1844, the capes were sighted roaming in the south of the Riot River. Apart from all its power and authority in the plains of Africa, the last individual was seen in 1858. Until 1860, the lions made their way to northern Orange Free State and spent the last few days of life. The early 19th century was when the Cape Lions were still seen wandering in the Karoo Plains and the Northern Cape. Talking about captivity, it was 2003 in which six lions from the Galagati Transfrontier were mobilized to Edo Elephant National Park, situated in Eastern Cape Province. What made the Capes to lose the race of life was their hunting. Instead of dying from starvation due to habitat loss, it was their deliberate killing. Europeans shot down the capes. Two of the individuals were then taken to Africa for further investigation. John Spence, a South African zoo director, led extensive research on the specimen brought to him. He studied the capes' characteristic features, i.e. black mane, black in their ears, and larger size. It was proposed that some of the capes had undergone interbreeding and what found in Novosibirsk Zoo in Siberia are the successors. The additional features that were taken into account were a broad face and sturdy legs. Feature homology was done and supported the hypothesis. Now all was depending on the DNA analysis, but to the dismay, Spence died in 2010 that left the research in limbo. The zoo was closed in 2012 and lions were shifted to Drakenstein Lion Park. Characteristic features of Cape lions were then studied by an American zoologist, Edmund Heller. According to the research, the Cape lion's skull was longer than the equatorial lions, i.e. 1.0 in 25 millimeters on average. These lions were bigger than the others of the same family. It was proven when a Cape lion was shot on the south of the Vol River. It was 272 kilograms, or 600 pounds, more prominent than an Asian lion, hence making it a beast of old times. The Cape Lion ruled Africa's plains with its terrifying existence and made its way to the limelight. Today, the lion is referred to as a significant member of big cats. On this note, this is Earthy Perks signing off. Till next time, Stay tuned and keep watching Earthy Perks.